This is an extremely pretty little uh, herb called uh, Shashashruti in Sanskrit and uh, botanical name is uh, Emilia Sonchifolia. Emilia Sonchifolia. You can make out by the these flowers. I don't hold my hand against it. Background it doesn't focus. So tiny little pink flowers belongs to sunflower family and uh, usually you can find it in moist damp places with a good amount of shade also that is along roadsides and pavements and then uh, in the ditches and all such places and normally it's about uh, hardly about three inches four inches tall tiny little plant this is a small patch of wild specimens that i located and uh, from this it is apparent it can be grown like a vegetable salad vegetable actually because it's almost uh, uh, one two so oh, about uh, two feet tall in a good location very succulent soft leaves and you can straight away pluck it and crunch it it's nice radish type of taste is there and uh, on close inspection it's very beautiful if you look closely this one I'm lucky to get this because it's such a big specimen it's easy to videograph it and you can see all the minute details these purplish stems and the shape of these leaves it's a bit variable it seems these leaves then uh, it is uh, originally from india and uh, it has spread uh, india china southeast asia indonesia all these places and it's eaten by many places in rural areas, tribals, villages and all eat it. City people should now start I mean, It will be a super food if they start eating it. You can chop it and add it in your salad and uh, stir fry it and all. So this Emilia uh, Sanchi Folia is now spread to tropical uh, countries like uh, tropical part of Australia. America, Oceanic Islands and all and uh, in Ayurveda the whole plant is uh, used as a medicine entire thing and uh, if you want to use it as a vegetable you can just trim uh, one or two leaves regularly so that the plant mother plant is alive and it can goes on producing new leaves. So this uh, Sanchifolia, whole plant is astringent, sweet, thermogenic, that is it reduces uh, body temperature and reduces fever. Then uh, it promotes sleep, fever medicine, eye tonic, asthma, anti-asthma and uh, it's used mainly for high vata conditions in this monsoon uh, arrival, these winds are very high and uh, these vata disorders start increasing and this is a good uh, thing to try out at that season. Uh, then it is used in uh, for uh, things like infantile tympanitis, gastric uh, diarrhea, ear pain, conjunctivitis, night blindness, cuts, intermittent fever and asthma. A lot of home remedy uses also their grandmothers and all know many ways how to prepare it because it occurs in the backyards of most people. Though it is so tiny that they, unless they are little, uh, they, not, they notice all these things, they will never know that it exists also. And many people, even my friends, they they are in their backyards but they apparently never saw it. So this one, it can, uh, it, it seems... After spreading to other countries, it is uh, it is landing up in cabbage patches and all and sucking up uh, some nutrients and reducing the yield in some of the vegetables. In India, it is not considered as any big pest or something. Because it's our plant, 
our local insects, cows and all eat it up. So control is there. So this is an excellent plant to try for uh, as a vegetable. Uh, in, and in cool places, hilly places, moist places, it comes out beautifully, lush and nice. You hang on for a minute or two, it's almost done. I want to show a good look of the plant. One last look at the flowers. And as you can see, it is doing quite well among a huge patch of, not huge, a little clump of weeds. There is uh, some variety of mimosa here. Then uh, one of that uh, embel, uh, I think it's called uh, some the Bumia malaki type of thing. Then uh, this uh, this tawny shrub. What the name? So, among all of them, it's growing beautifully, naturally, and very lush and beautiful. 